I think right now is really maybe the best timing to start studying biostatistics. After a long accumulation of data, uh, empirical evidences from clinical trials, from observational studies, from all the field research we have done, finally, I think we have all the data to make breakthrough. So this is a perfect timing. And very interestingly, if you open a public health or medical journal from 10 years ago and compare to uh, a journal published, let's say, this month, you will clearly see this increase in data-based research. So public health and medical research nowadays relies more and more on data. Also, biostatistics is the only field that can combine the power of mathematics, statistics, computer science, and health informatics. The goal of the Biostat shared resource is to provide analytic support to all cancer center projects and investigators. We have been involved in designing studies, uh, monitoring studies, analyzing data, and finally presenting our findings. We have a spore in skin cancer to analyze data collected here and also from other institutes, from our collaborators, to really understand this biological process, how UV interact with certain genes, and how uh, that interactions, that combined effects, can increase skin cancer risk, can lead to fast prognosis, and finally, better response to cancer treatment. Our modelers have made significant contributions to COVID modeling. Our research has had a direct impact on how the state uh, deal with COVID and uh, to the best of my knowledge has had a direct impact on how policy was made at a national level. And also, uh, we have a very strong implementation science center. It's one thing to design a perfect study on paper, but it's totally a different story how to actually implement that and how to uh, really deal with real problems you will encounter in the real world. Our researchers have been working on how to better design, conduct, and analyze clinical trials and uh, observational studies in the United States and also worldwide. Also, uh, we have been conducting omics and imaging research just to try to better understand cancer, cardiovascular disease, uh, mental disorders, and the biomarkers uh, my colleagues identified have been direct target for pharmaceutical companies. So uh, some have entered early and middle stage clinical trials, and uh, those uh, findings uh, can have a really direct impact on how we treat those complex diseases in the near future.